the best thing to do is have fiber and protein first followed by low GI foods. Now we move on to the third concept which is more important than glycemic index that is glycemic load. It is the total amount of glucose released by a portion of food. If you keep consuming the same amount of carbohydrates, even with added fiber and low GI choices, your body will end up absorbing the same amount of total glucose. This can cancel out the benefits of delayed gastric emptying and choosing low GI foods. Let me explain. Take watermelon for example. It has a high glycemic index of 72, but it has only about 6 grams of sugar per 100 grams. Now compare that with brown rice or rolled oats. They have a lower GI but contain 45 to 50 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So low GI doesn't always mean blood sugar safe because your portion size determines the glycemic load. In a 2016 interventional study, patients with poorly controlled type 2 diabetes followed a diet low in glycemic load. The result? HbA1c dropped from an average of 8.8% .8 to 